Welcome everyone, this is Game Freak 5264 here from Too Much Free Time Productions. Now, this is Skull Rock. I'm not gonna do this level because it's a token level. I'm just gonna do trophies right now. So let's move on to the next world, which is the spaceship world. Now, these two sections here you need five gems and five, uh, ten relics. The gems, I actually don't remember what they are from. So, just give me a second, I can get to where the those five dots at the bottom of the map are. Oh. Oh, we can't go in there yet. Okay. Oh god, go away. You must have two more Essentially that's where all of the the token places are. I don't I, like, I, like I said in the first episode, I don't entirely remember where everything is at, but we're going to go to the first race, which I believe is the Coco Park. See how good I am at remembering? Oh, gosh. Um, but Coco Park is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's basically a rain track. There's not really many corners or anything like that. Um, you just drive around. Uh, now, from last episode to this episode, I've had a thought. And that was that um, I will uh, not do 100% immediately. I will only do partial 100%, like I'll get all the trophies and beat the bosses and that. However, I will, uh, uh, once I beat all that, by that time, I will also have a separate section of this game specifically for, oh, you jerk! Specifically for, um, uh, like the relics and uh, other things like that so it doesn't take forever with the main storyline. Yes! Here you go. Oh, hey. Hi! You did. Yes, that is the first time we'll ever, and probably last time we'll ever get an Uka Uka mask. Essentially, the Uka Uka Mask is like the Starman from Mario Kart, where you become invincible for a short amount of time. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, also, as I was saying earlier, I will not do 100% while I'm doing this basic straightforward run. And that's only because that would take up so much time trying to, trying to do all that, that it is un... Uh, it's not a very good thing to do. So what I'll do is I'll do all the trophies, beat all the bosses and things like that, and then I'll have a separate series for like the 100%, I guess, or something like that. I haven't really thought it all the way 100% out yet, but um, I'm pretty certain what I'll do is that, and also so it'll give you guys a chance to vote whether I should do the 100%. Um, if I do, I'll try to condense it into a f as few videos as possible. Um, oh gosh, go away. Oh, shut up. Um, now, that, yeah, like, like I said, that'll give you guys a chance to really, uh, decide whether or not you want to... Uh, if you want me to do 100%, because uh, if you really don't want me to, I won't. That, that's pretty much fair. I, I don't think you'd want me to see me go through all the races again to get the trophies and the relics and this and that. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably record it, but I'll probably just cut things out, like bulk parts of the races, um, and have a have like a, a, a commentary go over that in post so that way um,
so that way there's not just me rambling and talking randomly. It's probably pretty much like a, for like the tokens and things like that. Essentially, what happens is I will. Uh... Oh no! You have to for the tokens. You have to collect the letter C, T, and R while you're racing and win. So, essentially what I could do is I could just show you where the CT and R are at in each level, instead of having you watch me do the entire race, and then there's not even the guarantee that I'd even win. So, uh, whoa. So, I I'm probably just going to do that and that way it will take even less time for me to do this. Oh! God, I hate missiles. No! Well, two or three. you oh crap come on yeah I finally was able to take the shortcut in this level but Rearview helped. Okay, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do the vote, the, I'll, uh, that's what I'll do. Instead of waiting for a vote or anything like that, about 100%, I'll just do clips and bits like that from me actually doing those 100% runs. Um, and that'll probably go a lot better than me rambling around. So, we'll do, we'll do that. And yes, we want another race. I want a trophy. Stop talking to me. Shut up, I already know this. I've been playing this game so long that I know what to do. Papu's Pyramid. This is the first level I've ever played in Crash Team Racing for one very good reason. It's because it was the level they included in the demo. Now you could get the demo, I believe, only through Spyro 2's Ripto's Rage, and you had to enter a code and whatnot to get that secret demo, but this is the first level and only level I've really played before I got this game. So this level holds significance for me. Oh come on, I can't even power slide now? Yeah, I'm doing terribly. Yeah, I fell. That is one of the shortcut methods. But I am terrible and I can't do it. or not. And let's get some Uka Uka power. And go from fifth to first in about a second. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's, this I think is one of the more difficult levels, just because of the uh, this tur these turning systems right here. 
and I can't really do them all the time. And uh, I know there is a glitch in which you can, um, during that pyramid section, you can actually jump over the wall and land about there. So, I mean, I've never done it, but I've, I, I've seen it happen. So, I don't know. It, 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 it's one of those things. Um, okay, so, another race done. Pretty straightforward. Like I said, again, and again, and again, and again, and again. I keep saying straightforward. It's really weird. Um, and let's accept the trophy. I want a trophy. Go away, jeez. I have to use the brake to stop and turn. Oh God. I wasn't even trying to go to the boss garage. Go away. Holy crap. Dingo Canyon. This one is interesting because there are like salmon f flopping around on the on the road for some reason. Um, so I can't really fathom exactly why. It's just one of those things that I can't really completely figure out. See? Almost hit the fish. Don't hit the fish. Come on. Okay. Oh, I hit the fish. Ooh, this is an interesting one. This is called the Warp Ball. And yeah, let me get a straight shot and show you what it does. Ah, very well. It does. Uh, let's get, once I get around this corner here, it does this. It screws up whoever's in first. It's like the blue shell from. Oh god damn it! It's like the blue shell from Mario Kart. Come on, I will not lose this race. Maybe I will. That's useless! Give me something good, something good, something good. No! Second place! No! Retry. Stupid fish! And, and notice that we're now in the second place slot, only because we retried the race. I can't even fathom why there are fish in this level. It makes me really confused. Oh god, don't... S Generally, it's a bad idea to be immediately behind other racers, because you never know what items they have. Oh! Almost. Oh, come on! Oh!
Okay, if you get a TNT on your head, jump, uh, keep mashing the, the hop button. Because you can, you have the potential of getting it off like I did. Now, it doesn't always work, especially, oh, damn. Especially depending on the, uh, where you are on the track, because it's never an even track. Of course I'd miss all the boxes with I'm going to probably have to retry this race again as well. Okay, engine, stop hitting my nitroglycerin. That's amusing, but it's annoying as well. Actually, you know what? Boxes, stop giving me nitroglycerin. I need something other than that. Blue bubble. Sure. with the blue shield that I didn't mention in the, uh, the caves level. The, um, shield will detonate when it touches someone. Hooray. Um, but yes, we finally won the race, and we're gonna continue going. Hopefully it loads soon. Yeah, Crash is just sleeping because he doesn't he doesn't care. He doesn't give a shit. His hat is different in the dirt on his character versus in his picture. Let's go to Papu Papu's challenge. Let's do it. Now he is similar to um, Ripper Roo in regards to he's very fast, but he uses uh, I believe the, the the potions instead of the uh, he uses the potions instead of the TNT like Ripper Roo does. There's another glitch in this level that I've heard of that it was basically you can um, uh, go from one of that, the jump on one side of the turn to the other and you'd be able to make it. However, I don't know how possible that is. I've never done it. Holy crap! Whoa! Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, this isn't fair. Yeah. And just like Ripperu, his things will explode over time. Okay, I'm gonna have to do the uh, little shortcut that I know of here. Wham! Yes, victory from the snatch from the jaws of defeat. Oh. <sighs> so then, we beat Papu Papu, the biggest, fastest guy in the land, 
fastest fat guy in the land, I should probably clarify. Um, and we got a key, and it's in our throat. It's impaling us. Anyway. Oh, you're not yourself, oh. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we have two keys. Um, now, what we can do is, we, what I'm actually going to do before I end the episode is I'm going to go all the way back to the Oxide spaceship, and I will show you what the, that closed door was for. So, we can see what that does. Because I mentioned it before, and I crashed. Okay, so two keys. Open that door. Now, these are all the token areas. You need four tokens from each color. If you collect four CTR tokens of this color, you can enter the ten cups. Score the most points in the four races of the cup to win a gem. Oh, that's right. This is where you would get the gems. And once we get the gems, then we can go all the way back here. And, uh... Go through... That, which is the Super Gem Cup. Or Turbo, turbo Track, I suppose. Um, at the moment, though... My time has run, this episode has run its course, and I will save, and I will see you guys in the next episode, and this is Game Freak 5264, signing out.